In this episode of Atlanta Maker, we use a $2,000 machine to make a part I could buy at Home Depot for a buck and a half. In a hurry to use my new table saw, I forgot to hook up the dust collection. This of course left me a nice pile of dust on the floor. So I grabbed my shop vac and realized that the dust collection port on the table saw was quite a bit larger than the shop vac hose. Time to fire up the 3D printer. First I made a few test prints to check that I had the size right for a good fit. So now that we've done our couple test rings and made sure that they fit, we can actually build the final model that we'll print. And uh, I'm using Autodesk 123D Design, which is free. They have a paid version too, but I'm just using the free one. So the first thing we want to do is start with some primitive shapes here. So I'm going to take a circle, and we're going to make uh, the big one is uh, 32 in radius. The big uh, entry on the uh, table saw. And let's do another one, which will be... Uh, 35 so this part in between here will be a kind of the wall and we'll t take the middle out so now let's do some primitives for the other part and that will be uh, let's see 16 millimeters and we'll do wide uh, perimeter for that one will be 19 all right, so now we have the two kind of connector ends sketched out, and now we need to start to extrude those. And up here there, under the Construct menu, there is the Extrude, and we'll extrude the larger circle. And I'm going to extrude down just because uh, um, that's the way I did it originally. And we're going to go down 20. So you can see now we have a, a big cylinder but we need to hollow it out, so we go up to extrude again. We do the inner one. We also go down 20. So now you see we have a nice hollow cylinder, so that part will connect to the table saw. We need to do the same for the part that connects to the, um, to the shop vac. So we'll extrude that one up 20 and do the inside again. If we can find it. sometimes you kind of have to it's a little picky on which one you're grabbing but so now we have the two hollowed out cylinders and all I'm going to do for now is I'm going to take this this cylinder if you click it and we're going to move it up let's move it up uh, 25 for now so now we have the space in between that we need to make kind of a cone shape so we'll use a primitive again, we'll do a cone, and we're going to go, we want to make sure we put it in the middle here, and its radius is going to be 35, which is the, the radius of the biggest diameter circle. And we're going to want to go up maybe, let's see, 40, no, we'll go up a little further, 50, let's see, 60 looks like it should work. So now you see we have a solid cone in here that we have to deal with and uh, have to cut out the middle of to, uh, to make it a cylinder again so it's hollow through the middle. So we're going to go and extrude again the smaller circle all the way up through it. There we go. And so... We extrude that up through the top, let's see, 50, let's go a little further, let's go 70. And you need to make sure that, right now it would merge them together, we want to subtract them. You see it turns red. So now we have uh, a hole all the way through the middle, but this area in here is flat, which would probably catch a lot of sawdust and make it a little more uh, difficult to work with so we want to actually chamfer that. Alright so we want to go up to the modify menu and we're going to hit chamfer 
and we're going to select the, let's see if we can make sure we get the right one here, that, and you see the arrow, it tells you which way you're going to champ, champ for it, and let's try, let's see, 10, let's go 15, will take us kind of out, and that'll create a little angle, which if you look at it now, it's kind of hard to see in here, but it angles from in here all the way down to the to the smaller diameter hole. So at this point, our object is done, and we can export it into our slicing software. All right, now we're in MakerBot MakerWare, and let's add our one here and open. Now, uh, when I printed this the first time in this orientation, it actually didn't print very well, this little... Uh, angle cause some stringing. So what I'd actually do before you print something like this is we're going to rotate it and do, uh, let's see, 90 degrees. And now you can see on the inside too you see that chamfer that we did and makes it so that uh, the, the sawdust should work pretty well through there and, and go pretty easily. So all we got to do is slice it and print it, and let's see how it turns out. So here is the final 3D printed part. You can see that chamfer that I mentioned by building the model. I popped it onto the saw and my dust collection problems were solved. Thanks for watching and if you like this video please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel.